hello everyone. Uh, today I want I will show the the self the status of self at at my usage, and uh, my name is Hong Mai Wan, the steel of sky. And uh, my uh, today uh, the agenda is I will uh, firstly I will introduce the self, and then I will uh, give an overview of self network changes, and uh, the last I will say how self supports the RDMA. Okay. And uh, uh, firstly, uh, I'm the active uh, development member of self uh, community team and uh, maintain the async messenger, which is the network library of self and uh, the NVMe device module in self, which is uh, make self how to operate on NVMe SSD device. And uh, uh, so these two models uh, become the high performance model of self how to make the uh, high, performance, high performance distributed uh, storage cluster. Okay, at first, because this is my first time coming to the great conference, so, so I'm not sure how many people know about Ceph. P Ceph? Okay, okay, great. So I want to uh, give a brief introduction of Ceph firstly. Uh, Ceph is a unified storage which supports object, block, and the file and in one single cluster. So uh, it has several design rules in the uh, whole self. For example, all, compon uh, all, 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 uh, all, all components must scale out and no single uh, point of future. It means uh, uh, self has uh, three uh, components need to uh, run. One is self monitor, which will monitor the whole self cluster. The second is self OOD which is uh, meant the life cycle of a device, such as uh, HDD or SSD. So if the host has uh, four disks, it means uh, the host will run four self or daemon to make the uh, disk can, uh, can do I.O. Okay. So it means all uh, self monitor and self OD must can scale out and no single, single uh, point of future, and uh, then uh, it must run the commercial hardware, no, no vendor lock-in. So it m must uh, require the very common and a software future. And so, and uh, at last, it must open source. Uh, every code must use the open source code, for example, EC or Encrypt or anything else. And uh, uh, the three lie about uh, self-code uh, uh, sentence is uh, self-vision about a different stage. At first, self wanted to become a uh, scalable, high-performance distributed file system as the file storage, uh, such as the uh, cluster FS or Lustre. And then, in the uh, last uh, decade, self wanted to become performance, reliable, and scalability. And the last, last year, since last year, self, the vision is create the ecosystem becomes the Linux of distributed storage. So it will be very common, very common and uh, very dedicated in Linux. Okay, so from this uh, solution, we can know the self, the uh, self's goal, and uh, uh, and uh, the uh, self's vision about uh, uh, now. Okay, so the, this picture shows the self the interface. Uh, the first is object, and it uh, supports the Amazon S3 and OpenStack Swift interface. Uh, and uh, the second is the block, and and uh, uh, as the common block interface. And uh, the third is the self FS. It supports the uh, POSIX interface and the political. And uh, bes uh, beside, uh, below this uh, three interface, this is uh, LibreRados, which is a client library access the self cluster. The Rados is actually the distributed uh, uh, storage cluster, which combined with multi-host OSD and the monitor. So. Rados is, uh, is a distributed uh, cluster, and uh, each, each interface or each uh, client library will access this cluster to uh, implement the necessary functions. And uh, let's zoom in. And this is the ecosystem of the self interface. Uh, the left side and is a block. Self supports uh, two ways to, uh, to get users use the block interface. One is kernel. Self has the RBD uh, uh, kernel module to let users can uh, can insert a kernel module to use it locally. 
and uh, then another is your space. It is uh, implement the same function as the RBD uh, kernel module, but it can be uh, can be used indirectly from the your space application, such as QMU KVM. Okay, so so both two uh, two uh, uh, two way can support the SCSI. For example, Linux LIO can you can make use of the kernel RBD to export the SCSI FF channel or the your space TGT. Uh, TGT uh, target can, can make use of libubd to expose the iSCSI. So this is a block interface. The middle is the router gateway. Uh, it, it supports the Amazon S3 and the Swift. And the uh, right, uh, right is the file system. It also has two ways. One is the CFS kernel module and another is libcfs as, as well as the uh, uh, space library. And the US space library can expose as a field the file system and or expose the HDFS JNI interface. So, so this is uh, come by the uh, rich uh, usage uh, among self and uh, lots of application can uh, can find the his way to use self. Okay. Okay. Let's go in, uh, go down into the details of the self IO stack. The we uh, the uh, the, uh, the the apply is uh, uh, the network uh, stack. We can find the driver and TCP IP and the socket. And uh, the and the, the next is the message la layer. The message is the self RPC library. We can think it is implement the necessary session and the connection and or uh, a message and uh, and uh, something else. And, uh, and then it will be a dispatch layer, and then it will be do uh, I/O replicated or recover or scrub or tearing. Okay. And the final is uh, uh, the self story engine. The left is uh, called a fast store. Uh, as the name as the name should, it makes use of the local fast system such as XFS to do the I/O uh, operations. And the right side is a blue store. It's a new Story engine, which directly operate on block device. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, the uh, last part of the self introduction and the, is the user case. Uh, we can know uh, learn from the graph. Uh, the self main uh, user case is in OpenStack uh, and uh, as well as the KVM. So uh, nearly half of OpenStack users use self as the main block storage. And uh, other usage is like uh, backup or object storage as a local S3 cluster or anything else. And the others one uses the self-fs as a backup cluster. Okay, so this is the main self uh, user cases. Okay, the next part we, I will introduce you is the uh, environment of the self network how uh, self community think the hypermost network and how to make use of it. And I, I want to introduce two, uh, two names. One is async messenger. Async messenger is a self, uh, self library. Uh, uh, it implements the uh, session in self set and the connection in self set. It maintains it the self logic in how to uh, because, uh, for example, retry, retry logic and uh, the message encode decode logic and uh, and uh, something else. Uh, it it, uh, it has a multi thread to maintain a set of connections each thread, and uh, one thread will use e pool or uh, something uh, uh, selector or pool uh, I, uh, I API to uh, pull the uh, event and. Uh, and uh, we found the uh, performance bottleneck in the uh, native uh, socket API, for example, uh, lo non-local process of connection and uh, VFS overhand or TCP protocol overhand, or it's a complex, I think, here. Okay, so this is a lot of performance limitation in self set and, uh, and we, we can sh very clearly found from the uh, from graph, yeah, the CPU generation, and we found the each thread will uh, uh, part of the uh, half of CPU utilization is occur on uh, RX connection, and uh, uh, another half is occur in TX connection. So, lots of self uh, we find lots of self CPU utilization uh, make use of um, uh, occur in the network uh, 
stuck. Okay. So uh, the the first uh, uh, firstly, Seth want to uh, make use of the TCP/IP and want to make it better because uh, TCP/IP is very common in the whole Seth uh, uh, cluster, and uh, it want to support uh, support them. For example, the 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 client uses kernel TCP/IP, and the Seth server side can can support the your space only TCP/IP stack. So so it makes use of DBTK and SBTK. It can be the for your space your for your space I also pass and uh, it will shut the TCP IP stack uh, refer to the C star uh, the open source project okay so the red picture showed showed the uh, how self operate on for your space for your space uh, first I pass the I O from the NIC from DAV and uh, uh, the DBTK, the DBTK and uh, project uh, DBTK model will. Uh, do the ARX and the user land driver will uh, receive it, and uh, uh, from the dedicated TCP IP stack, it will flow into the core OSD uh, reactor to handle the message, and then it will be zero copy and uh, flow into the SBDK, which is also developed by Intel, which uh, uh, implement the user space NVMe protocol. And so it will be for your space only, and no zero copy happen in kernel or in your space uh, from the NIC to the device. No, no, no copy happen, and it will shut it. Okay. So uh, the left uh, picture showed the how uh, DBTK work uh, worked, and it will has different uh, layout. For example, DBTK PMD, and uh, the the next is ARP to do the. Uh, to implement the ARP protocol, and the next is IP and the TCP. It is all local, local core, uh, local core um, uh, shutdown, and uh, it all make use of the DBTK RTE. Okay. So uh, the the so the picture also showed how DBTK stack compared to the traditional POS six uh, socket API stack, and it is the same, but. Uh, if uh, users want to make use of the DBTK, and uh, it can choose the DBTK backend. Okay. Uh, okay. But we also found uh, some problem in the self uh, user case because of design. Each OSD will make use of one disk, and it's the pipeline module. So it will, uh, and uh, because self is a very legacy product uh, developer. Uh, in 10 years ago, so lots of the lock weight, lock weight in the whole uh, self, uh, self, uh, self generator. So uh, it will can't uh, improve performance hugely uh, uh, via the shutting down thing uh, design. The next is DBTK ma uh, must uh, cooperate with SBTK because if we only implement the DBTK in the network, uh, the I/O and the uh, the storage side is also you make use of the the kernel block uh, block uh, block uh, kernel pl block module, so it also needs copy and it also needs to uh, go to the uh, kernel block module. So uh, it will limit the self uh, user case because SBK only supports the NVMe SD, but most of self usage uh, self users only uses HDD mostly. Okay, so this is uh, another uh, limitation, and uh, then and the self because each host will have very multi disks, and uh, each DBTK will will make use of full, uh, f make, make full use of a CPU core, so it will be CPU spanning, and if we have lots of disk and uh, lots of CPU is spanning, so this is a problem. So after D uh, DBTK, we want to in introduce the more common and. Uh, no, uh, no limitation on your side, and uh, we introduce the self, uh, RDMA into self. Uh, like the DBTK stack, where we make uh, uh, each thread or RDMA uh, mod, uh, RDMA worker, and each will uh, e, uh, call the e pool on the uh, on the device FD, and then we will uh, uh, get notified from the device, and then. Uh, get the event from the queue and uh, then do the RDMA read or RDMA write. And now, uh, uh, all, all features are fully available in self-cluster. It means no limitation 
uh, for the self uh, RDMA band or the PostGAN band, and we will have a large uh, rocky cluster to run uh, band with the RDMA. So the next we will uh, will implement the uh, other others, and uh, it will introduce later. And we now support the infinite and the Rocky V2 and for the cross subnet, subnet. and the, we also can allow users to uh, use front end, front end TCP means a client can, can, can use this TCP to access the cast and the different host to do the IO replication can use the RDMA, okay. And something work, working uh, working progress, for example, the RDMA CM, and we use this, uh, make use of the T, uh, TCP connection to exchange the RDMA, uh, RDMA information. So later we will introduce the RDMA CM to support a multi device and uh, enable unified uh, configuration for several nodes. Because we now uh, we we do uh, we do something hacking on the RDMA information exchange. Okay, and the self location real copy, and uh, we still copy uh, multi times in the whole life cycle of the I/O from network and into the device, and we want to uh, make a little copy as, uh, as as much as possible, okay. And uh, what it is to do is use the RDMA read write, and we, now we only use send receive mainly, okay. And then we want to implement the usage coding and uh, with the uh, hardware offload and uh, the ODP, okay. And this is the uh, self RDMA usage in the self is uh, whole self uh, user base, and uh, users can can find can see the we we uh, we can find that uh, the for for about storage where uh, users can use a three or three video to access cluster and uh, the RGW which is a standalone process uh, in self, so it will. Uh, uh, it will trans transmit message via RDMA into the self cluster. So the in front end of the S3 it is TCP, but the back end, the whole back end is uh, RDMA, and the middle is uh, traditional uh, virtualization usage, and uh, the QMU or NBD uh, uh, network block device in the Linux kernel side, it, it can make use of libd your space and uh, to access the the self RDMA cluster. So it will make the whole virtualization and the whole uh, storage uh, run on the RDMA network. Okay. The right side is uh, uh, the uh, file system usage and it can let the fuse and the uh, fuse can run the RDMA uh, network. Okay. So this is uh, the self RDMA uh, main usage from the users, from the block, from the to file and block, okay. So that's all. Uh, I mainly introduced, because this is first, first, day, uh, first time, and the staff uh, just is a beginning in the RDMA uh, world. So this is a very uh, overview of the self network, in, 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 uh, self -work, uh, network changes. And uh, most of details, or most of technical ch challenge, I think, I hope we can uh, share next year or later, okay. So thank you. Anyway, um, back on slide 12, you had a really interesting graph that looked like it had a lot of great information in it, but I wasn't sure how to interpret it. Can you go back and just explain? Which one? Slide 12. That one. Okay. That one. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that the different colors are different categories of yes. communication. Yes. Oh, okay. The higher is, we, we can, because it's very small, uh, the higher is the, the TCP send message in the kernel, in the kernel uh, module. For example, the TB stack or the listen table or the uh, kernel local connection, uh, Bronic, and uh, we can find the Bronic here. It is a statement of the, this graph. Non-local process of uh, connection and uh, the global TCP uh, 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 control block management and the VFS overhand and the TCP protocol itself because TCP, we use the TCP in the device, in the server, in the mobile. So, so in the, in, in the, in the self-set, we found the TCP IP is too, uh, 
uh, it, it kind of makes use of, of the four bytes. Okay, so we can get the, this result. Okay, I'm not sure you can you can see clearly in the in your computer. Okay. <laughs> 